So today is the culmination of about 18 months of hatchery work here at the NOAA Mukilteo Research Station. And we've been culturing pinto abalone uh, as part of a, a restoration project uh, here in Washington State. Today we're loading up close to 2,000 juvenile abalone. The animals have been loaded into PVC tubes, which act as our outplant modules. And those tubes are gonna go into fish totes in the back of a couple of trucks. And these abalone are gonna uh, be taken up to uh, the Shannon Point Marine Center in Anacortes. And then over the next several days, uh, we'll be out diving and we'll be out planting these animals to a number of restoration sites that we have established in the, in the San Juan Islands. Each site that we're out planting is a representation of close to 20 different genetic families of abalone that we've produced here at the hatchery. So one of our biggest goals is to outplant as diverse a group of animals as we possibly can. We're introducing diverse animals that are uh, also have been cleared uh, as disease free. They're healthy. Uh, we want to try to do as little harm to native stocks of abalone that are left as we can. Abalone are, are significant here in Washington for a couple of reasons. I mean, they're, they're, um, they're important ecologically. They do a good job of maintaining the habitat. They're important culturally. You know, native tribes in Washington have harvested abalone for their meat and their shell for many years. And economically too, you know, at one time there was a, there was a recreational harvest of pinto abalone and divers also were really into just, you know, taking pictures of abalone and uh, they're just, they're a really unique species in this area. So to see them uh, blink out on our watch is, is not something that we want to have happen.